We used to use old pallets for our lemon drinks, but now we are going to build real ones. So this is our prototype, and these are four foot sections that are attached with eye hooks and rebar at the corner. We'll use five foot sections uh, on the real one here, and these four foots will be the ends. Um, this is made out of non-treated lumber, for, because these four foot chunks we'll just use in the barn. The five foot chunks we're gonna make out of treated, uh, because we're gonna use those outside for different purposes as well. The reason for the non-treated and treated lumber is that current lumber prices are really uh, odd and treated lumber is actually cheaper right at this moment but I got a good deal on these uh, one by six is non-treated so we were able to make it less expensive that way so now we'll go through and show you how we're cutting all the boards and then we made this jig to uh, allow us to put them together really fast we're gonna glue them and uh, staple them together uh, and then let them dry before we put the eye hooks in so here we go, cut the boards. These are eight foot non-treated boards and we're going to come into two four footers. These are um, eight foot boards and we're going to cut them into two three and a thirds. These are treated ten footers and we're going to cut them into three and a thirds. And this one is a treated ten footer that we're going to cut into two fives. We have marked off on here for the different locations, the three and the third, the four foot, and the we will and the five foot is marked on there, so we can just put a clamp on there, then cut all the boards. So with this jig, you can just lay out your boards on here, put some construction adhesive, in to glue it together, and we're going to staple it. This way, you don't have to do any measuring. Just square everything up, line everything up. And do the other end.
Here's our pile of stuff. Now all we have to do is put the eye hooks in. Next we drill holes to put in the eye hooks. So now you can see how you can contain your sheep. And we've got one sheep and three children. Uh, this Marama thinks she's a sheep. Uh, and they're all within the pen. The rebar handles hold together the pins and you can just pull them out to swing it out of the gate. And then you can just uh, add on as many as you want in either direction. They can be back to back with another section coming out here with gates on both ends making four in a square or they can be in a line uh, in any which way you want to configure them. And then the ends that are treated, we can take off and use outside in the summer to make fences or gates or other things as well. So let's see if the children can all climb out. And then we'll see if the Maremma can jump out. <laughs> All right.